and I call the member for Eden Monero. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. As we rise this weekend to cheer on our footy teams, let's also commit ourselves to meeting the challenges that face every corner of our economy and community as COVID normal Australia starts to take shape. Queemian's Chris Neal runs Eclipse Lighting and Sound, a business 21 years in the making. He employs 104 staff, people who would normally be working at events like Tamworth Country Music Festival and the National Folk Festival. Eight of his staff have been eligible for JobKeeper. Support that Chris is very grateful for, but as the JobKeeper rate goes backwards, staff are needing to find better paying jobs in other industries, a skills drain that makes him very nervous. That aside, Chris has watched in despair as football stadiums have swelled with fans, while concert halls and music festivals have been fallen silent. As Chris said, I have almost no ability to generate income at the moment. Footy can have up to 40,000 people attending. If a stadium can be at half capacity for football, why can't the same stadium be used for a concert with the same restrictions? Mr. Speaker, Mr. Deputy Speaker, Chris doesn't want to stop footy fans from getting to a game. He just wants a level playing field for the jobs and businesses that rely on big events outside of the sporting arena. If sport can continue under COVID safe controls, let's find a way for the entertainment industry. As Chris says, why does singing have different rules to sports fans cheering? Order.